Hello everyone, in the last import video we saw about limits of a function at a point z0 where z0 is any point in a complex plane, right? So in this import video, we will discuss about the limits of the function involving the points at infinity, okay? So before that, I will try to explain stereographic projections. I will not discuss this in detail because it is not useful for you for now at this stage, but I will try to explain just a basic of basics of stereographic projections okay so suppose this is my complex plane i'm making it as dotted just to express that this is up till infinity okay and this is my unit sphere fine and uh, this complex plane is cutting my sphere at the point at the equator basically it is cutting it into two halves and this is my 0 comma 0 comma 0 and this is my 0 comma 0 comma 1 okay so what is stereographic projection in this if i choose any point on the upper hemisphere of this unit sphere suppose this is my point x comma y sorry x comma y comma z then if i connect these two points this 0 comma 0 comma 1 and x comma y comma z if i connect these two points and if i extend this line then this will cut the complex plane in a unique point x comma y so this is the main concept in this stereographic projection that if I choose any point, any point on this upper hemisphere of this unit sphere and if I join 0, 0, 1 to this point and if I extend this line, this will cut the complex plane in a unique point called x, y. Okay. So we will not prove this but we will uh, just state the result that the points on the upper hemisphere and the points on the complex plane they are in a one-to-one -one mapping right so there is a bijection between the points on the upper hemisphere and the points on the complex plane fine so what if i choose my x comma y comma z to this point the zero comma zero comma one only okay if i choose this point then what will be my line my line will be get extended like this fine so we will uh, assume that this line 0 comma 0 comma 1 if i uh, if i connect my point comma uh, connect my line 0 comma 0 comma 1 to itself and if i extend it then it will cut the complex plane at infinity this is my assum assumption okay so in this way we define a point at infinity in the complex plane in this uh, in the real case there are two infinities minus infinity and plus infinity right but in the complex plane there is always one infinity and uh, that infinity is defined in this way that uh, that in the stereographic projections if i connect these two points that same point basically 0 comma 0 comma 1 and if i extend this line to cut the complex plane then we assume that it should it might have cut the complex plane at the point called infinity okay so in this way we define the point at infinity so now we will discuss some theorems on limit at infinity first theorem is limit z approaching to z0 fz is infinity if and only if limit z approaching to z0 1 over fz is 0 right so what this expression means is mod of fz is greater than some number say g right whenever mod of z minus z naught is less than epsilon we have assumed that g is greater than 0 and delta is also greater than 0 right so this means that 1 over fz mod is less than 1 over g right where g is a sufficiently large number okay so 1 over g will be sufficiently small number fine whenever this happens this is the same so this this means that mod of 1 over fz minus 0 is less than 1 over g whenever mod of z minus z naught is less than delta so what this means is limit z approaching to z naught 1 over fz is 0 this is the definition of the limit at z naught so these are equivalent why they are equivalent because we can go back in the same direction why because limit z tend to z naught 1 over z is 0 this means that 1 over fz minus 0 less than 1 over g 
whenever z minus z naught is less than epsilon and this means that 1 over mods of fz is less than uh, is less than 1 over g whenever z minus z naught is less than uh, delta this means that mod of fz is greater than g whenever z minus z naught is less than delta and this is the definition of limit of fz involving infinity right so we can go just reverse the direction and we will see that this, are, this is the if and only if condition the second theorem on this is limit z approaching to infinity fz is w naught if and only if limit z approaching to 0 f of 1 over z is w naught okay so we will start from the left hand side what this expression means is for every epsilon greater than 0 there exist uh, suppose g greater than 0 which is sufficiently large such that mod of fz minus w naught is less than epsilon whenever mod of z is greater than g right so now replace z by 1 over z what we will see mod of 1 over z minus w naught is less than epsilon whenever mod of 1 over z is greater than g right this imply that this happens whenever mod of z is less than 1 over g right since g is sufficiently large then this number is sufficiently small right so therefore this means that limit z going to 0 f of 1 over z is w naught if this, this this is exactly the same definition which we have seen in the first slide and if i move just in the reverse direction we will get these steps so this is equivalent conditions and the third theorem on the limit at infinity is limit z approaching to infinity is of over f is infinity if and only if limit z tending towards 0 1 over f of 1 over z is 0 so to prove this what this expression means is for every g greater than 0 sufficiently large there exists g greater than 0 sufficiently large such that mod of f of z is greater than g whenever mod of z is greater than g right this imply that if I replace z by 1 over z what I will get f of 1 over z greater than g whenever 1 over z is greater than g right this means that 1 upon 1 1 upon mod of f of 1 over z is less than 1 over g whenever mod of z is less than 1 over g right since g is sufficiently large and is a small g is also sufficiently large therefore the reciprocals will be sufficiently small right so therefore this imply the uh, definition of the limit which says that limit z going to 0 1 over f of 1 over z is 0 and you can go in the reverse direction to get the same steps so these are equivalent conditions